think my favorite movie is uh, From Russia With Love. Toy movies, it's Empire Strikes Back. The Indiana Jones series. M mine would be most of the James Bond films. Toy Story is a good one. It's probably Guardians of the Galaxy and Superman. This year's exhibition is an American Toy Story and we're looking at the history of toys that are associated with movies. Our exhibition is arranged uh, by genre. We have coloured areas within the gallery um, looking at different types of films. So the first section is classics and that's full of a lot of dolls, a lot of celebrity dolls. In the early days films came and, and went so quickly that it was very difficult to tie a product into a specific film. Um, you weren't guaranteed that longevity of interest that you have with current day films. So stars like Shirley Temple that had uh, recurring films that they made again and again and Chaplin who had his little tramp character that recurred in lots of films. They were very popular characters, they guaranteed sales for uh, doll manufacturers. Following on from the classic section, we have the animation section, where some of my favourite pieces are. I'm particularly fond of the Donald Duck, small Donald Duck uh, plush toy that we have. And he looks quite different to Donald as we know him today. Donald first made his film appearance in 1934 in A Wise Little Hen. And he had a very long beak and a long neck. And uh, he was only drawn like that for a couple of years before he was redrawn. So to have a doll that shows Donald with his long neck and beak is quite rare and unusual, so he's very sweet. And then we have an action section where we have some great James Bond toys. Um, lots of cars, of course, because I think the cars are almost as famous as the characters in Bond. But I think my favourite case in that section is the one with the gadgets, and I was quite tempted to send secret messages to M myself with some of those toys. And we go on to the sci-fi section, and of course a toy movie exhibition wouldn't be complete without Star Wars. Um, and so we have pieces, early vintage pieces, but also pieces from the newest film. George Lucas uh, reduced his fee for producing the first Star Wars film in exchange for having about 40% of the merchandising rights. The money he made from the merchandise that was associated with that first film made, made him so much that he was able to set up his own production company and separate him from the studio system. He was then able to go on and fund the other Star Wars films. Finally, our superhero section where we have the Superman costume, which I'm very excited about, worn by the best Superman in my opinion, Christopher Reeve, um, and that's on display flying through the gallery, which is very exciting. We want people that come to visit to have fun in the exhibition, and so our back room is an interactive area where we encourage everyone to unleash their inner child. We have a dressing up area so people can dress up as their favourite film character. So hopefully there's something here for everybody.